What is up you guys? Welcome to a very early morning routine. I wake up well before 5 a.m., usually at 4.30 a.m. and I've been doing this for a long time and I want to share exactly how I do this, how I get motivated to do it, especially in the cold, dark winter months. So quick note, this is in part filmed in the dark, but also filmed in some daylight so we could see what we were doing. Now, the first thing I do is I wake up with a sunrise alarm clock at 4.30. It wakes me up gradually and peacefully, which I love. That has not changed. That has been years that I've been using that specific alarm clock and I love it. One thing that I have switched up though, is I've been using a humidifier in the winter months just to keep it fresh and clean whenever I'm waking up so I don't feel so dry. And I just feel that much more alert whenever I'm waking up. The other thing I do is I set a second alarm at the other end of my room for 4 40 a.m. and you do a mission for this I like the memorized version and that's the alarm me alarm clock then I tie a little top knot on the top of my head it's literally one of the first things I do just to get the hair out of my face and that way I just kind of feel fresh and clean and a little bit more awake then I brush my teeth first are you a teeth brusher first comment down below I need to brush my teeth as one of the very first things I do then I wash my face I love this little face cleanser because of the micro beads that are in it and just smells fresh and clean it's usually what I use first first thing in the morning it just wakes me up then I get ready for my workout so I've been loving Gymshark I just collaborated with Gymshark on a morning motivation video go check out that giveaway go enter that giveaway it's gonna be closing soon but I did a full try on haul of all of their new pieces. I love the training shorts, but this morning I had to grab the, the bike shorts from the Hyper Amplify collection that just launched. It comes in a bunch of different colors. So beautiful. I have it in, I think, every color almost. And the training shorts are probably my favorite shorts ever. I've talked about them a ton on my stories. If you have trouble with shorts that like ride up, I love Gymshark shorts for that. Like they are not shorts that ride up, they're very flattering and beautiful. The other thing I love is you can layer. So with the Hyper Amplify collection, there's this beautiful crop top that's part of the design and I love that paired with the bike shorts and then this cropped hoodie, which I layered on top. Again, in the winter months, I need layers because it's cold whenever I start my workout and then I warm up, but at least this way, the fabrics are breathable. So I did those bike shorts, the crop top, and then the cropped hoodie from the chalk collection. I love that there is that detail under the arms that you can breathe and still work out. And it's so cute and I love it. So go check that out and go check out the giveaway for sure. So the other thing I did is I grabbed these cute little coral shoes that went perfectly with that Hyper Amplify set. It has to match, right? And then I just kind of shove everything in my shoes, grab my watch, my phone and everything and make my way downstairs as quickly as possible because I shared this in the morning motivation video, but I have some sense of accountability to you guys on Instagram. And if you follow along on Instagram, you know that at 5 a.m. or before, I always try and get that timestamp of a little good morning stories, lighting my candle, and I really try and hit that before 5 a.m. So it's, it's a weird motivation thing that gets me out of bed, but I'm accountable to you guys. So try it and tag me. So the other thing I do is I always get my pre-workout ready. I like really ice cold water. I'm not a room temperature water girl and I know that that's not necessarily better. I just, it makes me feel alive first thing in the morning. So in my little Disney cuppy, I will usually do some electrolytes as well as some all natural pre-workout. I love it and it works for me and I've been doing that for a while now, but especially with the electrolytes just makes me feel hydrated in the morning. Then I get my shoes on, I start my watch and I will turn on the TV and I do everything through my Apple TV. You can do it through your phone or your iPad or your computer. I just like doing it through my Apple TV. It's all streamed. And the other thing that this includes for me that's perfect is any equipment that I'm using. So this track is the coolest thing. You just strap around your door. It's not some big heavy machinery. I actually packed it to come to Disney and to Florida with us and I love it. And we got sick results. So it's a nine week program, super quick workouts, which is probably my favorite thing because if you're not motivated to work out in the morning, the last thing you wanna do is a super long workout. You wanna get in, get it done. And this program does that and I got insane results doing this nine week program through the summer. I was kind of a guinea pig for it and it's officially open in the fit gym. So the girls in the fit gym can do this. If you wanna be in the fit gym, by the way, I will leave the link for it down below. You work out from home, you get sick results, work out with us, work out with me virtually every day. We hop on Zoom together and we all sweat together, which is awesome. Then the other thing I've been doing is a stretch or a meditation every single day, also included in the fit gym and in the library, it's all streamable. And it's a quick just stretch at the end of the day, but I just feel like right now mentally, I think it's so important for everybody to do that and just spend a little bit of time breathing and having a sense of calm. So 
I will leave all the information for the workouts down below as well as a free preview workout if you want to try it. So then I go upstairs and I will usually do a juice or a post-workout smoothie which is kind of a new way that we do it. So I will usually make Andre and I a juice. It's different every single day, totally depends on the day of what we're feeling. The base is usually some celery stock some fresh cucumber, green apple. Green apple is usually the extent of the fruit that I put in there. I try to keep it to a ton of greens. And I don't do a very large batch. It's usually like half of a glass. But this day I was actually making a smoothie with it so it became the base of the smoothie. Or I will keep it in the fridge for a couple days to come. So this day we did celery, cucumber, green apple, and some beets. <laughs> I feel like that's the most satisfying thing to watch whenever the beets get juiced. This juicer is the best, it's what we've been using for a long time, and then like I said, I usually put it into a mason jar. Andre likes to have it just as a juice to start his day, so he has the juice. I use the remainder of mine as the base for my smoothie with a couple scoops of superfood mix which is strawberry flavored tastes like cake but is so good for you like there's 72 superfoods in that blend which is perfect i love it works for my skin toss in some collagen like heaps of collagen i blend that up and that's my first meal of the day that's literally what i start my day with and it's the perfect post-workout smoothie for me replenishes me and is probably the healthiest meal of what i'm gonna have all day so then I will usually set up by the fire, stay cozy and warm, and I usually put on some ambient jazz music. I love this Calm Cafe on YouTube. We play that throughout the house, and then I will usually read a little bit of personal growth. So I'm loving my Gabby Bernstein book right now. It's awesome. And that's, that's just what's working for me as my first thing that I do, kind of just some time alone to myself. And then I'll usually grab a fresh candle, especially now that we're switching out of the Christmas stuff. Andre's awake by this time with Carl. They've come downstairs and I make my way upstairs with Andre to make the bed. Carl will usually follow us <laughs> everywhere we go. He'll be, he'll be in the video, don't worry, he's coming. He was camera shy that day. And then I will usually set up for my bath. So we were literally just cleaning out all of the Christmas stuff and kind of putting in more of a winter theme. So I even switched out my shampoos and my conditioners, the flowers, the candles, all of that. So we really have like a calm winter vibe right now in the house, which I love. And I love my bath. If you've followed along for a while, you know that. I love, love, love my bath. It's kind of a great time for me to just unwind and reset. And I like doing that post-workout. So. I will usually have a great big bubble bath, grab my body wash, you know, shave my legs, do all the things, and then also just chill. And then I love to do the massage, like the bubbles. I've never shared this, but this tub is actually sick. Like it has a bubble situation on it, which I don't use enough. And I often get asked to if I do a fake tan. I don't often, but in the winter months, whenever I'm feeling pale and Andre and I haven't been able to travel that month, I th that much, I do. I love the fake and bake mostly just because it smells delightful. And I usually put down a towel to make sure I don't get it everywhere. And then I usually rinse out my tub, make sure that I blow out my candle safety first. And then I'll just put on a bathrobe and some slippers to do my skincare routine. So my skincare routine hasn't really changed that much. I'm still using the same skincare that I shared in my Christmas videos. I love it. I'll link it down below for you guys. It, it smells delightful. It smells like Flight of Passage, like the Avatar ride, and it works for me. But the new thing that I've incorporated just for health and lymphatic drainage is some dry brushing. Just a little dry brush. I do my face and then my clavicle area, which is basically just like your chest area, and then I use my Clarisonic. I like this Clarisonic machine. It kind of massages your face and gets all of the puffiness out of your face. I think not just for appearance wise and skin and tightness, but also just your health and getting all of that, just the gunk out of your body. So that's what I do. And then I sit down, turn on a YouTube video. That's whenever I watch YouTube, whenever I'm doing my makeup. So if you ever are doing your makeup while you're watching this video or me, let me know because I, I would love to know that we are kindred souls if you do. It's very therapeutic. Then I grab my lashes, which yes, I keep them in my martini glasses on my bar cart in my closet, but it works for me. So sometimes I'll do my makeup in my beauty room. Lately, I've been loving it just on the floor in front of a mirror. And then I switched out of some Gymshark gear for my workout, put on new Gymshark gear. I wear Gymshark all day long and then just a cozy sweater. And Carl was up and on guard, ready to go for the day. 
yes, ladies and gentlemen, he is a real dog. <laughs> he has his own Instagram if you want to go follow him. He's pretty spectacular. He's a little bear. So then Carl and I make our way downstairs and yes, it is cold. Yes, it is dark outside. And we're in Canada in case you didn't know. So it's even colder and even darker some days. So it can be hard to get motivated. So I totally feel you if that's how you're feeling in these darker, colder months to get motivated in your morning. But hopefully these tips are helping. The other thing I do is I need a warm beverage, but where I've switched up is I don't necessarily have coffee every single day, which is helping a ton in the long-term effects of waking up the next day early. So I've been kind of sticking to tea, which I switch up, which tea I'm gonna have this day. I had Read My Lips, which is David's tea. I like David's tea and they just have cool flavors. And I brought that over in a Ray Dunn mug and my very, very first thing, so I get asked this a lot, what I do for a living. It's one of the most common questions that I get. I am a coach first to my team. So I've been a coach for almost eight years now. We have a top team. I'm so proud of these girls. I mentor them, I help them in their business. And I also mentor people in their health and fitness. So that is my number one priority. That's what I do for a living. I work from home. My husband now works from home as well. So Andre is upstairs in his office working. And then I usually will check YouTube, answer your comments, edit videos, and that comes secondary, but I love it and I love you guys. So that's usually my passion. Then I plan out my day. So the thing that I'm eating is just some little potato pancakes. Listen, not super healthy, but they're delicious. And I really like them, little hash browns. And then I got back into bullet journaling this year. So I'm kind of mapping out my days in a different way. And I'm going to be doing a video. If you would like to see a video on exactly how to do this, let me know. But I mapped out, you know, 2020 coming to an end, what my ideal morning routine is. So this was what it was. And if you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos like this. If you have requests, comment them down below. Make sure that you are following on Instagram for the behind the scenes. And I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes. Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along